everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here. We are back doing another Dominaria Intermediate Swiss Draft League, and looks like Slimefoot to me. Got a couple skittering surveyors in here, and uh, I mean a Gorger, a Chronicler, a Grow from the Ashes, other reasonable cards, Ruinous Blast, which is actually probably pretty good if you have enough Legends. But let's take Slimefoot. All right, follow up pick. Best. That's a lot of blue cards. Best card in the pack. Probably Adele is. She's quite good. It's also Fiery Intervention though. Might just take the removal. Splashable. Hitting artifacts is huge in an Icy Manipulator Helm of the Host format. And it's a more exciting pick than Mammoth Spider too. Or Journey Mage. I think. We'll take the intervention. Hmm. Pretty unexciting pack. I might just take Kazarov. I think I like this card probably more than most considering it's a 7-drop flyer, but there's nothing I'm really giving up that I care about in here. Overseer, Confessor, it's a very underwhelming pack. Uh, once again, pretty underwhelming pack. I'd probably take the Spider. Yeah, seems fine. Eldest Reborn is great, however, so we'll take that. And not too much else in here I care about either. All right, here's probably a pretty easy candle removal. Yeah. All right, Lano or Scout now. I guess we could take we could take the Cyclops. There's a Soul Salvage. We have the Reborn though. I don't like the Scout, but might need some three toughness down there. Can theoretically be good. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, probably can take Soul Salvage now. Familiar is actually a pretty reasonable card. We'll take it here. Okay, here we can take Guardians to return an Eldest Reborn. Could take the Short Sword as well. Guess we'll take the Short Sword. Okay, so both of these cards are pretty underwhelming probably take the construct because there might be some historic synergy somewhere. We can take Chainer's Torment. I never really take or play this card, but I think it's actually fine. I guess it's because you have to lose half your life total, but we'll take it. We actually have a lot of historic already in here. Yeah, eight historic after pack one. That's a lot. Okay, what a waste of an uncommon slot. All right, here we can take the Llanowar Elves over the Elfheim Druid. Doesn't look like we have any kicker anyway. And even if we did, we'd probably still take the Llanowar Elves. So Chain Whirler in here is very good. Obviously the Elfheim Druid actually Fight. Uh, second top. Fight with Fire is probably one of the strongest cards you can get, so I'm going to take it. It's got to be one of the best cards in the format. Rare or Mythic aside, I mean, even including those, Fight with Fire is one of the best. 
fact that you can hit your opponent in the face still kind of blows my mind. With the kicker, I mean. You can hit your opponent's face. You get it. All right, we can take Garna. I did get pretty messed up by him or her the other day. And it gives all your creatures haste, which is kind of cool. Nothing else all that good in here. Dark Bargain, another spider. We'll take Garda. We may actually dip out of green now. Okay. Could easily splash for Slimefoot. Maybe that's the plan. We'll see. I'll get it all figured out. Another candle, yeah. Otherwise, splash for Arona. We'll take a candle. Okay, here, probably take the Acolyte. We could take Halar, still splash for it. Don't have that much kicker, though, at all. So it might make more sense to just take the Acolyte. Works well with Soul Salvage as well as Zelda's Reborn. That's actually kind of cool. Return to your hand all creature cards in your graveyard that were put there from anywhere this turn. So technically you could mill it and get it back. Another Garna? This is just weird now. I guess so. Late Memorial to Genius, but we've got all these legends. I'd like to take advantage of that. I just don't know if we're going to be able to. Memorial to Folly is great. So we'll definitely take that here. Here, I think it's a, just a Cyclops. This is a great card. Big fan. Let's see here. I mean, we have enough legends where we could play a Blessing. I just don't think it's very good in general. But otherwise, we're taking another Short Sword. It's really, our deck doesn't need it. I guess we'll take the Blessing. Here, Guardians is kind of cool with Garna. Warcaller does, I guess, technically work with a couple cards in this deck. Could take the Sentinel. I'd rather take the Sentinel than the Rat Colony. I guess we'll take Sentinel. Dark Bargain versus Confessor. So it's good to get some card advantage, but we have a lot of mana sinks in here, so I think we'll take the Confessor. I mean, we have a lot of mana sinks, so we probably don't need to get card advantage spells. We'll probably just take another Construct. Actually, no, we definitely take the Phoenix here. All right, so we're top heavy, but that's probably fine. Halar. Not a lot of kicker in here. So, like I said, we're a bit top heavy, but this deck is still pretty cool. For now, we probably dump these two and the Halar and probably the Soul Salvage, too. Ergeros, but probably want the Eviscerate. It's also Vicious Offering, which is cheaper. We don't have a lot of stuff to sack to Vicious Offering, though, so we might just want the Eviscerate, the catch-all. We can always move this down here, I guess. Ergeros is pretty awesome, but I wouldn't mind getting some more removal, premium removal at that.
Chainer's Torment is technically a creature too, so is Eldest Reborn, so really we have like 12 creatures right now, which is pretty good. Wow. Fight with Fire 2. We're probably just an 18 land deck. If we can wheel Chronicler, we're looking pretty spectacular. Alright, so we could take the Journey Mage, probably the Soothsayer. Soothsayer's not that great in here. Yeah, that's pretty good with Slimefoot, I guess, huh? Yeah, that is pretty cool. Journey Mage just because it's cheaper, but I think we'll take the Soothsayer. So we're definitely looking, looking like a play first kind of deck. We just don't have enough going on early. Alright, Chronicler now, definitely. Over an Omnivore, which would be fine too, but Chronicler with Garna is actually pretty cool too. Play it, kick it, jump block later, flash this out, get it back. It's pretty cool. Fungal Plot would be good with Slimefoot, but I guess we'll take an Abomination. This would be an 18 land deck, I think. Something like this. Probably the next con is Chainer's Torment, if we can find something better. It doesn't really fit thematically with what I'm trying to do. Omnivore is a better card, I think. Actually, Skizik is great. Omnivore basically just works with Slimefoot, whereas Skizik can just win games. We'll take it. Very top-heavy deck. So we do technically have four legends for Blessing, but I don't think that's enough. So... I guess we could take a Servant, just because it blocks. It's not very good. Probably don't want a Dark Bargain either, though. All the Feral Abominations, huh? Could take the War Caller. Take the Journey Mage. There's no other Wizards. Probably rather play the 1-3 Servant than either of these. And we don't need another 6-drop, most likely. I guess it doesn't matter. Guardians. Huh. I don't need any of these. I think we'll just take a sentry so I don't have to play against it. Hmm. Maybe I'd rather the war caller than the servant. Honestly would like to not have either, but I think our top end is so heavy that we probably want to lower the curve. Honestly, I'd probably play the Servant over the War Caller. I'd rather have the three toughness. I don't really care about putting an extra lower counter on Eldest Reborn. As if I didn't have enough five drops. Hmm. Quite the weird deck. Well, we're playing 18 lands, and we're not super color intensive, so I think we can probably even get away with three forests. So we'll do three forests, and then probably eight black, seven red. Because we're going to have double red by the time we... Pay a million mana for Fight with Fire, so... Okay. 
not playing Red Memorial. No need. So we'll run three forests. Um, and then it's eight black, seven red, three green. Okay. All right. Well, I guess this is it. Very, very strange deck, but... I mean, yeah, if you put Chronicler down here, I guess we have some stuff going on early, but... Definitely a pretty top-heavy deck. Regardless, it looks it looks to be pretty fun. I think we'll be able to do some cool stuff here, so... All right. Here it is. See you around one.